But the challenge for Paducah is that we've seen a declining population since the 1960s. Um, and when you look at that, we are producing a high level of workforce. Last year we graduated right at 80% of our students college and career ready. And so what's happening is they are moving off um, to college and not making their way back to Paducah. And so the challenge is how do you uh, align our resources in this community, um, our educational system with our business um, community and post-secondary education to drive students to uh, the industries that are here locally in Paducah so that we can make a better Paducah. Um, we've worked specifically with Baptist Health. We continue to be referenced across the state of having our health science classrooms at the hospital. And in addition to that, we're excited with the river industry that we have here in Paducah. Um, we have our students in our welding program are now working on truckable barges as far as real world application. I was, I was reading an economic development article that talked about middle skill jobs. So I, I began researching what that meant and it basically meant a couple of years of education and then take them through very specific programs to train them how to do what we do. I reached out to all the local public schools as well as West Kentucky and Murray State University and asked them to come in and we explained what our, what our vision was. And um, you know what we heard, the feedback I got from the educators at that point was that it, you, you can't wait until they get to college and then try to do that. You really need to reach deeper into the education system and get them earlier. Is that eighth grade? Is that seventh grade? Is that sixth grade? I'm kind of leaving that up to the educators to identify that. But we want to try to tap into um, students at a very early age and show them a pathway from where they're setting in the sixth, seventh, eighth grade to having a job in the technical fields. So we're excited about the opportunity of the Innovation Hub. Uh, it's, it, it, as, as one of my guys said, it kind of makes technology cool. The challenge is one of focus, of the focus of the people that have the resources on what the most effective way to initiate the change is. And there is no doubt that it is through the Innovation Hub that that represents the most direct path toward being able to make the changes in how education is received that will transfer into what the greatest opportunities will be for the recipients of that education. And we're very, very close to being able to do this. And I think that the enthusiasm for it from administration, the enthusiasm for it from government officials, from industry representatives, it's there. We just need to be able to break through to create this innovation hub to allow this type of education and this type of development of skills among our students to take place so they're ready.